What's going on, Scorpio gang, gang, gang? Hope all is well with you guys. To my Scorpio kisses. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, that's a bear hug right there, Scorpio. I just want to hold you so tight. You know how you hold people so tight till they just start crying. They just start letting shit out. That's the, that's this type of hug. This is a therapeutic hug, like, cause I'm here. Some some Scorpio, you have been tough too long. You done took the world on your shoulders. Cry, Scorpio. I, I promise you, cry. Let God let God capture all those tears, cause the people who got you crying, they can't capture. They can't do nothing about it no more. Stop holding on to it, Scorpio. I swear, let it go. Let it go, Scorpio. Cry, 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 cry. Who am I talking to? Let it go. I felt it when I gave you that hug. Let it go, Scorpio. It's going to be okay. It's going to literally be okay. When you when you cry, this cry, you just know you got to keep. That's going to give you the strength to leave this situation. That's what's going to finally give you your breakthrough. Cry, Scorpio. Process this shit now. Don't wait that after you got another plan or after you done left. Cry right now. Get rid of it right now, Scorpio. I'm telling you, get rid of it. To my returning OG subscribers, what's popping? What's good? To my newly subscribed, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I appreciate it. To all you rock stars who like, share, subscribe. Donate to the channel. Book me for readings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm sending you all the love and light your heart can hold and your energy can match. Everything else you need to know about me is in the description box below. I am running currently a $25 quick read special. Not quick read, it's a personal um, reading. Cash out PayPal, email me, and I'll get started. All right. <clears throat> Let's get into it. What's the messages for Scorpio? It says, No other compares to you. There is no one else thinking. There is no one else. Thinking about you all day long. Yeah. Scorpio, I'm telling you, once you, once you, it's almost like a transformation. Because God wants you to empty your heart. Because your heart is filled with what your idea of love is. And what your idea of love is, is going to get you a broken heart in the next situation too. Because what I want you to go into your next connection, whether that's with yourself or somebody else is knowing that, you know, there's nobody on this earth capable of loving you more than yourself. It has to start there. And I feel like that's that's when people recognize in the connection with you that nobody compares to you. You know, I always talk about, you know, they wait till we leave and then they start three, four years later after they end marriages and shit, they start processing the heartbreak and then they want to come back. Well, this is giving me the energy of somebody who really gets you, Scorpio, but you with somebody who don't get you. And you still there because you still holding a place in your heart. You still got all this inflammation in your fucking chest. Let that shit go. Cough that shit up, spit it up, whatever you got to do to move forward because it's better out there. Somebody, somebody is thinking only about you. Somebody knows that nobody compares to you. I don't know if this is somebody from your past, somebody new, but whoever it is, the moment they come in contact with you, they don't want to be nowhere else, with nobody else, at no time, at all, n never. If they can work with you, they work with you. They want all of you, literally. That's what's going on with Scorpio, because that's your energy. It says, I've become apprehensive about being candid with you. I feel like this feels like somebody kind of like pulling back Scorpio. Because of what you've been through, you kind of like, you know, you 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 kind of like side eyeing this person. Like, is this another manipulation tactic? Or is this real? It's real, Scorpio. They can't fake this. You just got to give it time because you just meeting this person. But they can't fake this. This person really mean what they they don't want to be with nobody but you. And I'm also getting like with this person, they might not say it as much, but they showing you. It's an action verb, y'all. Stop looking for the emotional part of it. It ain't there. It ain't going to never be there. Stop looking for that. You don't need nobody to, uh, you know, pump you up or deflate you. That need to be your, you need to be your own cheerleader. That's what Sorcerer said. If you your own cheerleader, then you the only person can let you down. What I said. 
It says, the thought of you drives me crazy. Okay, Scorpio, y'all keep sitting with these mediocre clown, ass behavior people, these narcissists, when it's people who, the thought of you driving them crazy. Just the thought. They ain't had no sex with you. They ain't had the opportunity. They want to put you in the house and pay all the bills. What? They want to tuck you straight away and love on you. And you somewhere where somebody got you there because they want you, that you're an employee now, you helping paying bills and they fucking on you. They ain't making love to you, they fucking on you. I, I, you know me, I'm going I'm to I'm say it like I feel it. That's what's going on. When it's somebody that just thinking about you being in that kind of connection with them, drive them crazy. This, this somebody who ain't even been in connection with somebody else. They, they waiting on you to just, they feel the energy. They know it's time for you to make a break, make a change. This could be another Scorpio. It says, I think about you so much it's scaring me. You know why I'm scaring them? Because they, they want they want to stop thinking about you. They want you to be there. Where they can stop thinking about you and start this action verb type of love on you. Where they can secure. See, a divine masculine, a divine feminine, they want to secure their spot with you. So guess what? It's no manipulation. It's all about me learning you, but letting you see who I really am truly in my heart. Like, period. And they know that with Scorpio, it's action. Period. On the bottom of the deck. You scan them, Scorpio. You scan these people. Why? Because you still there. They falling more and more in love with you. They thinking about you so much and you still with this clown. You still with this person who fucking on you and fucking on them too. And the thing about them fucking on you, it's a totally disgrace. How dare you even come towards Scorpio with that dirty dick? You know what I'm saying, Scorpio. Like, keep that shit over there. Literally, some of y'all Scorpios done stopped sleeping with these people. Your person who you driving crazy, they know that. They, and, and the drive crazy ain't even, you know, I ain't going to even sit and say this person ain't thinking about making love to you. No, nah, I ain't, I ain't going to even say that. But the thing this person really is focusing on is getting you somewhere safe. This person want to protect you. They want to get you somewhere safe. They want to get you out of harm's way so that they can love on you on purpose. So that they can let you know that you are a priority to them. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Love is an action verb. It is. If ain't no action behind you loving me, you just fucking on me and I'm paying bills and now I'm your employee and you having third party situations, baby. You so low vibrational. I don't even know how you was able to even catch a Scorpio, but since you did, since you did, you got to reap what you sow. Whoever these people are, you got to reap the years you took away from Scorpio to play games. You got to reap that. At some point in your fucked up ass life, you're going to want love. You're going to want it sooner Scorpio leave. And you'll be chasing it the rest of your life the way you did, Scorpio. You will never have that type of intimacy with no fucking body in this world that you have with Scorpio. And guess what? Scorpio gave you that shit for free. Didn't require you to do shit back. Just sat and waited to see if you would. Now that's over with. It's done. No more. The sun, you being exposed. And the four ones. Scorpio, you moving on to calmer waters. You're, you're about to be in a relationship with somebody... Who, who don't think it who don't think they robbing themselves by loving you who don't think they robbing themselves by paying bills that they have to fucking pay whether you was there or not y'all understand y'all talking about half if I went right now and got my own house I'd have to pay my light bill my water bill and my rent whether I was with Chris or not these men marry these women and they marry you because they 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 it's almost like a, it's like a job. It's like a job. They, they, they choosing these divine feminine women for bill pay. And to fuck on. And to take them off the market so nobody else can get that good ass energy for free. Who am I talking to? But not him. Not her. Clarify nobody compares to Scorpio. They found this shit out real quick. Whoever this pro Listen. I ain't got time to play no more. I'm telling you, Scorpio, believe me like you believe in Jesus. They waiting on you to, to sign them um, divorce papers. I'm hearing the damn ink could be wet. They ready. They ready to get. It's almost like a, 
uh, uh, what they call a espionage, a rendezvous, like these people, like special ops, like these motherfuckers watching with their binoculars and shit. They noticing now y'all don't go everywhere together. Okay, they saying that's good. They noticing him over here with this bitch. They just saying they know Scorpio clock and they got intuition out this fucking world. They're like, what's going on? They waiting for any little sign. They would never approach you. I love it. They would never approach another man's wife. They don't want nobody else shit. What I said. Only, we, only way they gonna come towards you, Scorpio, if, if you split. If you are over there in your own house paying your own bills. That's when they gonna come out the wood where they know you're an empress. This person you with know you're an empress too. You filled out an application with their ass. They hired you, Scorpio, the king of wands. You could be dealing with a fucking air, um, fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Libra is here. It's like, whoever this divine masculine is, you see that, that head on the Leo image. You see that line in the back? This could be a Leo. But you see that, to this person hold a torch for you. This, this, this is divine masculine energy. If I ever fucking, just look at the line in the back. That's for protection. Holding the torch for you. That's the wedding ring. That's the promise. That's letting you know, listen, as long as I'm living, as long as there's life force in my body, I'm going to take care of you. Because I know you are the creative. I know you who I need to take care of. No man should take a woman in their in their responsibility if they don't plan on taking care of her. Why? Taking care of the divine feminine energy is very important. It's not just for me. It's for the creative period if you're trying to create something. Who am I talking to? Whoever this is, they understand that divine feminine energy is limitless. And they know that in order for them to have the type of life that they want with one, they have to insert something down in it. Who am I talking to? This ain't this ain't rocket science. When your divine masculine insert into that divine feminine energy, it just you living your best life now. You're living your best life then, both of y'all. It's no reason for us to manipulate each other. Your energy plus my energy, it equal greater energy. It equals a connection that can't be stopped, that can't be limited. It's okay. I don't want to look outside of us for anything. It's all right here. These divine feminine and, and masculine, they know that the trouble of looking outside. They know the trouble of not honoring and protecting your wife. Then she start looking outside. Who am I talking to? Whoever this is, Scorpio, they got it going on. And I love it. What else? Oh, no other compares to you. Judgment. Look at that light body. A lot of you Scorpios, like, <laughs> this person been astro traveling and astro projecting, looking inside this rela relationship. I'm also hearing, too, for some of y'all, y'all next person was one of these monitoring ass spirits. Like, literally. Like they got monitoring spirits monitoring this shit for you. They got, they, I'm telling you, they telepathically trying to see when you leaving this shit. Whoever this person is, the course of their life can't even begin until you let go. Go check out the video I did earlier. The first energy was maybe leaning more towards no. So it's time for you to go out that relationship and go, go get what's yours, Scorpio. Like just straight up. It says there is no one else thinking about. There's nobody else I'm thinking about. There is no one else thinking about you all day. I'm sorry. The Six of Swords. This person coming towards you. This person never... Whoever this person is, I feel like they know you, Scorpio. I feel like this is just somebody who just been waiting in the, in the distance. Like, I feel like you could have even chose two or three people. <laughs> After, like... And not gave them a try. I feel like though this person never came towards you because you was always with somebody. Another thing about Scorpios, like we always with somebody. Yeah, heavy on the Leo here. I feel like this is somebody, Scorpio, who just really understands how to match energy. 
This is somebody who know what a relationship is supposed to look like. This is somebody who they've been through a lot like you and they don't look like it. Whoever this fire sign um guy is like they have this could be an ex. This could be quite naturally your ex. This could be your baby daddy because the emperor is here with the king of wands. One of my baby daddies is a Sagittarius. And judgment is a reconciliation. This person won't back in. I feel like whoever this person is though, Scorpio, it's like y'all y'all really didn't have no bad bad blood. Even if they was a hoe, this, this, was, this was a man that took care of you. This is somebody who took care of you. They took care of their children. They took care of their fucking responsibility. And that, and that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like a real man, whether he fucked up or not, he going to do real shit. Because he a man. See what I'm saying? So whoever this baby daddy is, yeah, the page of one, they just want to start. They just want to start over with you. They, they want to show you who they've become, who they've evolved to. This person always fucking took care of you, the son. They want to tell you some shit. They want to confess to They want you to see who they are now. They want to prove to you that they ain't the same person you left. You could have been even involved in domestic violence with this person. They want to live the rest of their life showing you, you know, forgiveness. Like, literally, they, they, want, to, they want you to forgive them. Like, they want, to they want to quite literally come in your life and change it for the better. Like, seriously, I'm getting that. Heavy on the Leo. Clarify, I, I became apprehensive about being candid with you. The world, that's ending. That's ending. I feel like this person, this was somebody who, when you was with them, they kept a lot of secrets. Now this person is, they're finally wanting to be open with you. That they, 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 But it's giving them pause now because it's taking you so long, Scorpio. They saying you left their ass alone like hot potatoes while it's taking you so long in this relationship. Hadn't you learned your lesson? Okay, baby daddy, calm down now. You doing too much. <laughs> 17, 17 all the time. You doing too much. Look, the page of pentacles, you definitely got kids with this person, Scorpio. You definitely and I and I and I just feel like this could be your first baby daddy. This could this is somebody, this is a twin flame energy. Y'all got together when y'all was young. Y'all was together when y'all was real young. Yeah. A lot of shit broke y'all up. Yeah. Y'all didn't know what y'all was doing. They back. They know what they doing now, just like you do. What else? Don't let this shit get to the point where they they feel like, you know, you, you're you not coming back. Like you just going to sit in this shit. Because, see, they, they, they want the empress in you to stand up. Who they know you are. Because they know they saying, like, she wouldn't even fuck with... Like, Scorpio wouldn't even fuck with me like that back in the day. Like, she cut me to... What the, what, what's going on with her and this person? The seven of wands, they need you to stand your ground, Scorpio, and come on out of that shit. They waiting on you. They, You know, you got people waiting to love on you, Scorpio, not fuck on you. You got people waiting to protect you and care for you. Take care of you. Literally. Why why does that seem like a, a, a farce concept for Scorpio? When Scorpio in a relationship you in, you take care of people. You like a fucking hospital bed. Literally, you've been there for, to your friends, your family, your husband, everybody. So why is this such a strange concept that somebody want to come in and do you the same exact way? Just love the fuck out of you. And just love on you right to see how you going to react. This is somebody who want to see your, they want to see the potential seed that they planting in you grow. They want, they, they actually doing that for you to grow. They're not doing it for them to grow. They just have the understanding that if she's growing, I'm growing. Why? Because I'm the one planting the seed. What I say? Clarify, I thought of, the thought of you drives me crazy. The high priestess, we know, boo. We know. We already know. We know you always held the candle. We know all that bullshit what you were saying and all that rah, 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 rah. We know that was all bullshit for the whole you was with then. Okay, boom, boom, bam. All, all the smoke done cleared. Y'all done been through five marriages over here. You done been through four over here. You got children over here, children over there, children over there, all this bullshit. And it's like now you, you realize, guess what? The empress was who I was with in the first place. There's no more empresses. Nobody compares to you. No, I've met nobody like you. I've had children with people. I've been looking for you and other people, but they right back where they started. Who am I talking to?
They right back where they started. And that's where they're supposed to be at. The will of fortune. Ain't no denying it now. You know it. The high priest is with the will of fortune. God is saying this your person. You sitting up worrying about this and you worrying about that. Why? Scorpio, your whole life been life of worry. And I just don't understand it because you always try to make sure other people don't have to worry. You always doing things. You always almost like getting ahead of things to try to protect people from being hurt or or, or they lights off or they like. It's, it's your time, Scorpio. The wheel turn. Somebody is coming to love you on purpose. This is beautiful. I love it. What else? The four cups, you know you're bored. You know this person ain't loving you, right? You know you done disconnected from them spiritually, mentally. The only thing you hadn't done is lined your mind up with your feet. That's the only one thing you hadn't done yet. What are you waiting on, Scorpio? Because I know you're not waiting on this person to change. It's been 15 years. It's been 10 years. It's been five years. The only person that's changed is you. You're not even an empress right now. Who am I talking to? But whoever this person is trying to come in, they'll always see you as an empress. Because that's who you are. Empress or emperor. That's who you are. You've allowed people to make to treat you as though you're a page or a peasant. And it's like... Whoever this person is, they saying, they know you, Scorpio. They saying, I know she wouldn't act like, she, nah. I know she ain't letting this nigga do this shit or this do, this girl do this. I know they ain't. It's that type of energy. You could be feeling this energy at this time. Like, I feel like this person gonna reach out. Yeah, you was married to this person, too. For some of y'all, this person only got children with you. The marriages they've been in has been with, like, older women. Women that's past um, childbearing years or want to have children. I feel like that's accidentally on purpose for some of y'all. Like when y'all get back together, y'all only got kids together. You may have more kids with somebody else, but all your all his kids is with you. Period. What I said. <laughs> the five of cups in reverse. This is this person like sitting for real. They really fucked up about it because they don't understand why it's taking you so long to cut this peasant off. They don't get it. They know who you are. They know what they want. You holding them up, Scorpio. That's what they really saying. The two of wands is here. Y'all, you stopping what can happen. The two of wands and the six of pentacles, they waiting on you to walk, Scorpio. They waiting on you to change directions, literally. Yeah, on the bottom of the deck, the magician could be a Gemini as well. I have Gemini highly aspected in their chart. I'm getting Leo, heavy on Leo, Libra. Virgo is here. I'm also getting cancer. All right, Scorpio. If you're still with me, like, share, subscribe, join the membership. If you'd like to book me for a reading, I'm currently running a $25 special cash out PayPal. Hit me up. I'll get started. I love you guys.